Hey guys, it has been a while, um, and uh, I just decided that I'd make a an updated settings uh, video for Real Environment Extreme. Uh, the last one I made is approaching two years, if not two years old now. So I thought it would be time for an update, especially seeing as new Real Environment Extreme versions have come out and there's new textures and all this uh, fancy stuff. But it's also an excuse for me to talk to my subscribers. Um, if you are subscribed and you are subscribed for FSX content, uh, then you should know that I haven't been so proactive in getting videos out lately. Uh, I've been busy in the past year. I've moved countries and so on and so, but um, it's really no excuse. I've, I've just gotten lazy uh, and some things have uh, have slipped here and there. Um, however, that's all going to change now. I'm, I'm being more productive and I'm putting out a lot more videos, uh, starting with one that will come out this week. Um, or within a week, should we say. Uh, if you have messaged me in the past uh, half a year, then some replies may have been slow, and if you haven't gotten a reply at all, I suggest you message me again. I do try and get to everyone, um, but sadly, some may have been overlooked. So if you haven't gotten a reply, please just don't hesitate to send me another message, um, and I will do my best to get back to you. But uh, let's get on with the actual video. <laughs> I'm not wasting too much time for those who just want the settings. Um, I'll go over the fact that um, if you don't have Rex, uh, then you should probably go ahead and buy it as, as soon as possible. Uh, that is, if you like simming and you do it as a you know a hobby or 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 you take it professional, you know Vatsim, Ivao, whatever you do, really Rex is just gonna add to your flight sim and it's gonna make it look a lot better. Um, so what I'd recommend is if you don't have it, to definitely look into it. It uh, it changes the way your whole flight sim looks and you'll never look at flight sim the same way. Uh, but this is just one of those add-ons which you, you should have. Uh, you'll hear people talk about it all the time. You, know, you got Rex, you got Gex, you got UTX. Um, you got those three big texture upgrades for Flight Sim that takes it from 2006 Flight Sim to you know, more, more or less 2010, 2011 standards. Um, it does have a bit of a performance hit, but that does depend on which texture resolutions you use. So I'm using Rex Essentials Plus. Uh, and then overdrive added onto that. So make sure you have the latest versions and overdrive because some of the textures I do use are from the overdrive texture pack and you can get that at the Real Environment Extreme website and their forums. They have all of that stuff there, which uh, which offers great support by the way. Um, so I'd recommend checking that out too if you haven't already gotten all of the downloads and everything set up. But I'm using the latest version here and uh, we've got Rex Essentials Plus and overdrive. So, options. Uh, now, my PC has gotten a bit old, and, um, well, let's just say I, I like to stick with my 1024 resolution, especially when it comes to having 100, 100 add-ons up. Uh, I fly on VATSIM, and you know, I've got EFBs there, I've got the NGX on my main screen, and then on my third screen, I've got charts, and, you know, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that's running, and... My FSX is not as fast as it used to be, let's just put it that way. Uh, I'm, I'm going to upgrade soon, and so that'll definitely increase the uh, the quality of my videos, um, I'd say. But anyway, 1024 or 2048 uh, is what I'd recommend. Unless you're going for the bigger screens, then you know you might you might find use in 4096. Uh, but uh, not to say that it, it depends on your resolution so much. You know, it's all relative. The clouds are scaled down. So you will see a difference between 2048 and 4096. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, it's two times as large. There's two times the detail there. So you will see more detail. Um, but really, is it worth it? You've got to ask yourself that. And you've got to check it out in game. Just just experiment and see what the, what the performance it is. But I'm sticking with 1024. And uh, yeah, you can see the rest... Um, the uh, Cirrus Cloud resolution is 512, water resolution 256, and the wave animation is DXT1. At the bottom, you've got some presets. Uh, you can go custom, um, which is what it'll what it'll do as soon as you change some options there. Um, you've got high end, you've got medium, and you've got low. Uh, anyway, we'll move on to the uh, the important part, and that is the textures. So we got sky textures here, and we'll start with sunrise. Now I don't like my my textures too extreme. Um, I actually really like just the subtle ones um, and for that I have graceful rising on the sunrise. It's not too extreme, it doesn't inject too much color into the clouds. It's just the way I like it. And in daytime we use uh, Perfect Polluted and that is just a nice dark to light blue gradient and it just it feels nice, uh, at least for European 
um, flying. I, I use it both in the summer and winter. Uh, I don't really change that too much. Sunset, uh, silverish. And uh, again, I don't want to go into the spectrum of two extreme colors. And this is just my opinion, but I, I just don't like the way it affects the clouds. Uh, it looks a bit uh, too weird. Um, I'll give you an example. This, for example, you can see that the clouds are becoming sort of purplish. And uh, I don't particularly like that. Um, so silverish is the one I use. Moving on to cloud textures. For uh, the 3D Clouds tab, I use Set46, which is the uh, Nimbo Stratus HD enabled. And uh, of course, this is really just personal preference. You've got so many really good textures there. Um, I mean, it, it, it really doesn't make that much difference what you choose because at the end of the day, they are all just going to be usually bundled together. Um, the biggest difference you'll see is around the edges. That is the biggest difference that the textures offer, I think. Uh, in the Cirrus tab, I use set 33. Again, this is all down to preference, but this is the one I use. Um, it's Wispy Cirrus. Uh, so that's the one I use, and that is from Overdrive, as you can see here. So moving on, we have uh, this inland water texture. This is really not something that I mess around with. Um, you can, of course. You can, you can change the color all you want. Um, and if you're flying in the UK um, and different areas of the world where you want the the water to actually look um, like it does in real life, then you can adjust this. Uh, you can knock yourself out, you know. So, um, but these I just leave it default because flying all over the world, it just you know it makes no sense to tune it to a specific area. So, um, ocean water textures. This is same story. I do not change this. Uh, it's really up to you, um, but I just leave it. Now, the tropical water textures, I use Dense Kelp, um, <clears throat> which is also from the Overdrive texture set. And I do not mess with any of the uh, color settings. I get the feeling that you'd, you'd have more of a use for this if you're flying to tropical destinations. Um, that's where those textures really stand out. But wave animation, this is really important. Uh, this basically dictates how shiny, how glossy, how strange, how whatever you'd like to describe it, um, your waves and your water look. Now I use water low um, 2x and you can find my explanation for that in the original FSX settings video I made. But the reason I do that is because high 2x really doesn't look that much better and I prefer low 2x's uh, frame rate benefits. I use speculation. Um, another one I'd really recommend you to check out is sparkling. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Sparkling uh, is also uh, a really good one. I'd recommend you to check out both. Um, they're really just phenomenal way of animations. Uh, can't, I can't go into it more than that, but right now I'm using speculation. Now for the runway slash taxiways. This is all personal preference, um, but I use set 8 for the asphalt runway. I use uh, the uh, set 20 for the uh, asphalt taxiways concrete runway i like the stripes um sort of you know like the uh, the blocked off concrete i like that so i use set uh, 10 and the concrete taxiway set 26. now moving on to the uh, airport environment i i just use base for the uh, taxiway markings and most of the airports i fly to are add-on scenery anyway so it doesn't matter that that much but it is nice to have a you know, textures that look nice for the default airports as well. So the runway markings, I use brighter. Um, I just, I think it, you know, pops the texture a bit, uh, a bit more than the enhanced, but again, all down to preference. Airport parking, parking one, and surface refraction, I use soaked. And uh, this actually makes quite a big difference. Uh, so right now here in Norway, it is cold and it is snowing. Uh, obviously, it's the winter season, so soaked makes a bit more sense to me right now. Now, moving on to uh, sun and lighting. I, I actually prefer the really realistic sort of options here. Gleam um, is good for me. Uh, also, there was another one. I think it's, uh, let's see, realistic sun. Gleam or realistic sun, those are my, uh, those are my choices because um, you know, it doesn't offer any fancy sort of Brilliance is also quite nice. It doesn't offer any sort of rays coming off. So Gleam is the one I'm using right now. Flare, I use Blaze. Um, I don't actually have Flare enabled in-game, so this doesn't matter to me. Lightning, uh, Forked, and Landing Lights, I use Golden. I used to use um, 
a golden intense, but I I prefer the you know sort of the smaller scalar uh, of the actual lights, and I have a, a bit of a tweak in the FSX of CFG to make them even smaller. And you can just Google that, just Google FSX scalar light tweak. Um, aircraft strobe, I use intense because well I love strobes. Runway lights, small glow. And again, that goes back to the fact that I, I want the runway lights to not, not be too overkill. And that pretty much covers it for the settings and the textures and the options. Um, that, is, that is pretty much it. If you're wondering what I use for a weather engine, I do not, I do not use Rex um, for its live weather. I use something called Opus FSX, which is brand new on the market. I suggest, uh, I suggest to give that a look as well. Um, I haven't used absolutely all of the weather engines, but the ones I'd vouch for would be Active Sky 2012 and Opus FSX because I feel they give the best coverage. And if you pair Opus with Rex, I, I can't even begin to describe how good it looks. Um, but anyway, those have been my settings for Real Environment Extreme. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed and I hope you got something from this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Uh, if, again, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. Uh, it does help me out. And um, hopefully I'll see you back in another video or you'll be seeing one of my FSX videos. Uh, either way, I'll see you soon.